Inspired by the life of the savvy and ambitious Colombian businesswoman Griselda Blanco comes a new Netflix original limited series. Griselda tells the story of a devoted mother who, with her lethal blend of charm and relentless savagery, creates one of the most powerful cartels in history. Witness Sofia Vergara's captivating transformation into the godmother of the underworld. Griselda, streaming January 25th, only on Netflix. I'm Mo Rocca, and I'm excited to announce season four of my podcast, Mobituaries. I've got a whole new bunch of stories to share with you about the most fascinating people and things who are no longer with us. From famous figures who died on the very same day to the things I wish would die, like buffets, all that and much more. Listen to Mobituaries with Mo Rocca wherever you get your podcasts. This is Optimal Relationships Daily, episode 2040, Family Will, How to Create Your Last Will and Testament in Six Easy Steps, by Andy Hill of MarriageKidsAndMoney.com. Hello, everybody. I'm your host, Greg Audino, and welcome to another weekly bonus episode of ORD, uh, in which instead of reading to you from relationship content like usual, I actually share the audio of a previously aired episode from one of the other shows in our network. And today's comes from Optimal Finance Daily, and it is one that I know you'll want to listen to if you have a family of your own and are focused on creating a will that ensures they are well taken care of should something happen to you. So with that, here is Diana of OFD with her narration and commentary as we optimize your life. Family Will, How to Create Your Last Will and Testament in Six Easy Steps by Andy Hill of MarriageKidsAndMoney.com A few years ago, Nicole and I finally completed our family will. We procrastinated for the better part of two years because we were binge-watching Game of Thrones and House of Cards. Excuses, yes, but these were some epic shows. Nevertheless, when we kept seeing people dying over and over again in these shows, it was a wake-up call that life is short. Thanks to these morbid shows and the fact that we love each other and want to take care of our kids, we completed our family will right away. To show you that this very important task can be easily done, I've listed out the six steps that Nicole and I followed to get the family will prepared, signed, and stored. Number one, answer some important questions together with your spouse. In marriage, communication is the key to success. The same goes for preparing your family will. With that spirit in mind, block out 30 minutes to chat with your spouse and answer the following questions together. If we both die, who do we want as the executor of our family will? The executor of your family will is the person who will manage your assets and the plan you set forth in your documents. Choose someone that you trust and that you know will ensure your wishes are seen through. Who do we want to be the guardian of our kids if we both die? When making your decision, consider the age, health, and location of the family members you're contemplating. If you'd really like your kids to live with your brother, but he lives across the country, is that the best for your children? It may be, it may not be. What special arrangements do we wanna have to celebrate our lives? For example, this could include donations to certain charities, leaving gifts to family members, or whether or not you wanna be cremated or buried in a Superman costume. Nicole and I both plan to use the living urn and become a living memory in the form of a tree after we die. That may sound weird to some, but who wants to be normal, really? And we're dead, so... Number two, talk to the people you designated and let them know. You don't want the will discovery to be a big dramatic movie when you die. Make sure your chosen executor knows that you want them in this role and make sure they are okay with it. Regarding being the caretaker of your kids, this is especially important to talk with this chosen family member or friend to ensure they are up for the responsibility if the situation arises. You don't want this to be a surprise. Number three, choose a family will creation service that works best for you. If you feel like you have a fairly straightforward family and money situation, an online will can work for you. Online will creation services like Trust and Will carry the same legal weight as consulting with an attorney as long as the will complies with state laws. Make sure you choose your specific state when developing a will online. If you've been divorced, have children from other marriages, have property in other states, or own a business, 
consider seeking out a trusted lawyer who can help you draft your will. Number four, find a notary and two witnesses. The notary will be a person who is licensed to witness you and your spouse signing the will. Our local UPS store had notary services, which were super convenient for Nicole and me. If you don't have a UPS store near you, check out the Notary Rotary. Not only does it have a super slick rhyming name, but it will also help you find a local notary near you just by entering your zip code. For your witnesses, this can be anyone who is over 18, provides their contact information, and is willing to spend five minutes with you watching you sign the documents. We were able to snag two kind witnesses that were already at the UPS store buying some overpriced packaging tape and boxes. It's smart to choose witnesses that aren't going to inherit anything in your will. This keeps the situation clean, tidy, and drama-free. Number five, store your completed family will in a safe place. Keep your will in a place that is away from light, heat, and humidity. You could consider a filing cabinet that's lockable, a fireproof safe, or even a safety deposit box at your local bank. If you've consulted with a lawyer, have them keep a copy safe for you. Whatever you choose, the most important thing is to ensure your executor knows where the family will is located. If your will isn't found, it could be a difficult situation for your children or others named in your will as beneficiaries. And if you move your will or if you move houses, make sure your executor knows where to find it. Number six, review annually and update it accordingly. Set a calendar reminder, like a Google calendar or iCalendar, et cetera, to review your will annually to ensure it still reflects your current wishes. Have a quick discussion with your spouse about how your will reads and make sure you're both still in agreement with all the details. Every year comes with new excitement and change. Who knows, you may have had another child to add to your will. Final thoughts, how to create your family will in six steps. We honestly never know what tomorrow will bring. Having a will in place will ensure your family is protected and that'll reduce the amount of stress during an already stressful time. If you haven't done so and you have a fairly straightforward situation, start the process today. You'll feel better when it's all taken care of. Nicole and I sure did. You just listened to the post titled Family Will, How to Create Your Last Will and Testament in Six Easy Steps by Andy Hill of marriagekidsandmoney.com. Making everyone happy on vacation isn't easy, but you know what is? Going to Aruba. All you have to do is walk out your door to find pristine pools, relaxing white sand beaches, and an island teeming with outdoor activities that'll put a smile on any face. You won't just feel great, you'll all feel great, filled with a calmer, more peaceful vibe that radiates Aruba's warmth. And the best part is, it never fades. That's the Aruba effect. Plan your family trip at aruba.com. Now, there's a lot of talk about New Year's resolutions right now, and most of them revolve around either a healthier lifestyle or freeing up some time for ourselves. Why not both? Get started on your resolutions with Factor, so you're ready for the new year. Factor's ready-to-eat meal delivery takes the stress out of meal planning and sets you up for success in the new year. Skip the grocery stores, prep work, and cooking fatigue. Instead, get chef-crafted, dietitian approved meals delivered right to your door. With over 35 meals to choose from per week, including options like keto, calorie smart, vegan and veggie, and more, plus over 55 weekly add-ons, you'll have a ton of nutritious and flavorful options to kickstart your resolutions. And what I really like is that when things get hectic, Factor is flexible. Change your order up every week with plans from 4 to 18 meals per week, or pause or reschedule your deliveries anytime. So head to factormeals.com slash optimal50, that's optimal50, and use code optimal50 to get 50% off. That's code optimal50 at factormeals.com slash optimal50 to get 50% off. This is a great reminder from Andy and something I've been procrastinating on myself. I also want to point out that while a will is absolutely necessary, it's not enough. You also need to get organized to save your executor the headache of figuring out all your accounts, finding your important documents and files, etc. Also, while a will comes into play when someone dies, what about an emergency situation where you need someone else to help with your affairs? This is where an emergency binder comes in. 
It's sometimes referred to as a in case I'm hit by a bus binder. This binder should include your will as well as contact information for important people in your life, including employers. Also insurance policies, all financial accounts, health records, property deeds, and car titles. Having all your stuff organized is going to be a huge help to your loved ones who will likely need to figure this stuff out during a very emotional time. I'd also encourage you to talk to your parents about doing this too. I know my mom is listening to this, so I'll take this opportunity to beg her, please, mom, get your will done and make me a freaking binder. And please include contact information for your friends and colleagues as I want to be able to invite them to your funeral. I know this is morbid, but just do it. There are a number of resources online for checklists to help you create your binder, and I came across a pretty comprehensive resource on the Smart Money Mamas blog. It's a fillable step-by-step family emergency binder with over 90 pages of simple printable worksheets. I know I'll be diving into that here shortly, and I hope you'll join me. And yes, I'm still talking to you, Mom. And that's a wrap for the Sunday show. Have a great rest of your day, a happy Palm Sunday if you're celebrating, and I'll be back tomorrow for Minimalist Monday, where your optimal life awaits.